What's going on you guys? It's Randy with Full Throttle Obsessions. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I've been having a little condensation issues in my 2018 Forest River Travel Trailer. We have been getting a lot of moisture in here. Not only on the windows, but on the walls themselves. And we constantly got to go and, and wipe the walls and the windows down. I know it's recommended to open the windows and turn on a fan to get some of the moisture out of your RV. But it's been in the mid 20s from 25 degrees to 28 degrees during the night so opening the windows and a fan is is pretty much not an option for us it's just too cold outside i'll go ahead and show you guys what i'm talking about now it is the middle of the day so it's not that bad right now but you could see we still got some moisture on our side window it happens on all the windows but this window is particularly bad because the sun's not shining on it you can see down there, if we don't wipe the window and the water runs down, it actually gathers down in the window seam. You can see all the moisture on the window. There's just way too much. Now from that amount of moisture, we are concerned about mold. That's just way too much moisture in the air. So I went ahead and picked up this mini dehumidifier by Zenny. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. but. As you can see right there, you can see the model number. Now there's multiple dehumidi mini dehumidifiers with the same design, but this particular one's by Zenny. I picked it up for around $30. So we're gonna go ahead and get it unboxed and we're gonna put it through a 24 hour test and see how much moisture it actually pulls from the air. Now it is a smaller unit, so I did have my concerns. It's actually the perfect size for the RV because we could just put it on the counter and just let it run all the time. And it also claims it's good for 160 square feet, which for this RV is pretty close. So I think the RV is a little bit bigger, but we're going to give it a try and see how it works. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. I did previously cut the tape just to kind of save you guys the hassle and from doing it on camera because it was taped pretty good. But I have not taken it out of the box yet. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. You guys can see how it comes in the box. It's got the little power cord. Put that to the side. Of course, it looks like they put a, a card in the box and also the instructions. It's a dehumidifier, so we're, we pretty much don't really need to read the instructions. At least I'm not going to read them. But it's got a little styrofoam. All right, then you can see it's the dehumidifier itself. Whoop. See if I can slide it out here. There's nothing else in the in the box. Well, there it is. Go ahead and take this little take it out of the plastic. Now, as you guys can tell, it's really nice and compact. Perfect for an IV because you could practically put that anywhere where there's a 110 volt outlet. Just for size comparison, we'll go ahead and put this 16 ounce bottle of water. You can see it's almost the same height as a bottle of water. Now just for reference as well, here's a brand new roll of paper towels. You can just see it's a really nice, small, compact design. And when you're living in an RV, space is an actual issue. Whenever you're small and compact is actually an advantage. Now we're just going to go ahead and plug in the power cord. It looks like it's decently long, so that's a that's a plus as well. Oh yeah, it looks like it's about five feet or so. And it looks like it plugs in right in the back there, so we're going to go ahead and get that plugged in. Make sure we got it the right way. We do, it's just nice and tight. All right, as you guys can see, it's nice and compact and it fits really nicely on the counter of our RV. Now, my RV is ran off of solar, so power consumption is a really big concern for us. So we're gonna see how many watts it's pulling and we are going to test how many ounces of moisture is it going to pull from the air over a 24 hour period. Let's go ahead and get it turned on. Now 
Now, one thing that I noticed right off the bat, it is extremely quiet. I'm not sure if you could hear it on camera. Now, if you're like us, we like a fan going in the, in the middle of the night to help us sleep. But honestly, I don't even think that's loud enough to even help us in that area. But being so quiet is nice. It's definitely a nice surprise. Now, let's go ahead and see how many watts it's pulling. Now, you can see it's pulling 24.8 watts, which is really nothing. It's really energy efficient, which works out perfect for us since we're running off solar. We definitely don't want to be powering nothing that's going to give a huge draw and run a low on electricity through the night. And that wouldn't even put a dent in our solar or our battery bank. You can see the watts is actually dropping the longer it's on. And all right, it's currently 2.04 in the afternoon. We are going to let it run for exactly 24 hours. And then we're going to measure the mo how much moisture it actually pulled from the air. And we're going to see if there's a difference in the moisture and the water droplets that are on the windows in the morning. Because in the morning, it's obviously the worst. Because it's getting roughly about 25 to 28 degrees overnight. And I'm keeping it about 73 to 74 degrees during the night. So that difference in temperature from outside to inside is what's cause causing all our moisture. And then plus we're cooking and showering in here, which put an extra moisture in the air. So we're going to go ahead and give it that 24 hour test. We'll measure the water and I'll give you guys my thoughts. All right, you guys, we had our little mini dehumidifier running for, for a day. We went a little over a 24 hour mark. We started at 2.04 yesterday. It is currently 5.30, so we went 27 and a half hours. I just got a little busy and couldn't come right at the 24 hour mark. But as you can see, we do have water in the tank of the dehumidifier. We're gonna go ahead and shut it off and measure how much water we actually pulled from the air in that 27 hour period. We'll go ahead and open the tank. Well, first we're gonna shut it off. We'll go ahead and pull the tank out. In the tank itself, you can see we got a little rubber plug right there. We're gonna to pull to drain it. I do have a measuring cup. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out and see how many ounces of water that we pulled out of the air. All right, we got our measuring cup set up. Go ahead and pull this plug. Pour it all in there. Pop this back in. Just as easy as that. As you can see from the measuring cup, we're over two ounces and just under a third of a cup of water that we pulled out of that over that 27 hour period. That is a lot of a lot of moisture we pulled from the air. My thoughts is this mini dehumidifier is the perfect size and it absolutely does work. We pulled a lot of moisture out of that 27 hour period. That would have been moisture that's on my windows, on the walls that are going to cause us problems down the road. So for the 30 bucks, I'm going to say this, this little dehumidifier is well worth it. If you guys are interested in this mini dehumidifier, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. And as always, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.